Hello and welcome. We're back here for our prediction series with Ajax. Unfortunately, Ajax couldn't manage to do uh, to be here today, so I'm going to solo it as well as the reaction of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Welcome to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2024 predictions. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing else much to say. Let's get into it. Um, I believe this changed it to the spreadsheet. So um, this time. I unfortunately don't have my predictions prepared, uh, but I have HXs because he TM'd me the predictions so I could actually put them in while I'm recording. Uh, and this, this one will be a bit shorter as I don't have HX to talk with during it, so I'll just go for the predictions themselves. Uh, first Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, I honestly expect it to be a bit better than Bahrain, but nothing spectacular. I still think Max is going to win by a huge, huge mile, as pretty much everyone does. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the sad reality of the season. Now, uh, when it comes to pole position, mine is Max as well as from Ajax. So we both had Max from for our pole position. No surprise there. Uh, the Red Bull seems like uh, extremely quick car, and in Saudi Arabia, uh, it looks like it's gonna just look spectacular to see that RB20 being quick around the track. Uh, even though I don't like to see them dominating, uh, yeah, it's the it's like the the fastest car since W11 after like at a track, so it's gonna be impressive to see that. Um, yeah, Maxwell, no surprise there, but P2 uh, for uh, Ajax gets Perez there, which is, I mean, fair. Red Bull is probably gonna be the fastest car here as well in qualifying. Um, I, I don't expect Ferrari to be as quick as in Bahrain compared to the Red Bulls, but I expect McLaren to be quicker than, uh, than last weekend because this, this track should suit them uh, and the philosophy much, much better. I don't expect them to be the second fastest team, but I still expect McLaren to be almost at Ferrari's level. I just don't feel like... Uh, I'm going to play the Leclerc for P2. It's probably... Probably a safe bet as even even like like if Ferrari is the fastest team, like like in Bahrain, Charles is maybe gonna do that things when he just doesn't get the cards on pole. Uh he either crashes out or like you saw in Bahrain just makes the mistake. And if the if the Ferrari is the second fastest car, we can still rely on Charles being that the factor in Ferrari being P2 because Perez is as as much as he's good in uh in Saudi Arabia. Even last year we saw that he, the deficit to Max was just too big, and and yeah, I don't expect Perez to be anywhere in, any anywhere near Max this weekend, especially in qualifying. And I think Charles is gonna do a great, great job and finish P2. Uh, for P3, Ajax has Charles Leclerc, so. So yeah, pretty much thinking of the same as I do, just uh, having more belief in Perez, which I don't. Uh, my belief in P3 is Carl Sainz. I think Ferrari is going to be strong, just not as strong as in Bahrain. I think Max is going to get pulled by pretty much the same margin as in Bahrain, but this time it's going to be on pace. Um, and yeah, uh, I have Carl Sainz in P3. Um, Ajax has Carl Sainz and P4, so we're having the same drivers pretty much, just the, just the different order. Uh, P4 for Carl Sainz for Ajax, I think that, that needs, no, needs no explanation. I have uh, Lionel Norris in P4, I think this time he will not screw up his qualifying and not get out qualifying by Oscar Piastri uh, like he did last year. Pretty much that was the that was like the yeah, that was the first time uh, Oscar at qualified Lando in, uh, in last year. It was the second race, and Lando made that mistake, crashed into a wall, and Oscar Piastri, I think, got into Q3 even, so that was impressive from Piastri there. I think McLaren is going to be a stronger car here, just on, not on that Red Bull slash Ferrari level just yet. And yeah, P4 for Lando here. P5 for Rejex is George Russell. And my mine is Oscar Piastri. I think there's not going to be Perez in, in the top five in qualifying, in my opinion. As as relatively close as Perez was to Max in Bahrain, with a grain of salt, with that slave stream Max had, 
Price was still like three tens off, so yeah, maybe without that two tens. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be much larger here. As uh, this this track it feels like a more driver track rather than a car track. Like driver can make more of a difference here than Bahrain in my opinion. And that's where the gap to Max will increase from Checo and I don't think uh, Checo will get uh, top five in qualifying, maybe even gets out in Q2 as he tended to do that in 2023. Now, or even Q I don't think he's going to get on Q1. Hopefully not, because that would probably uh, destroy his career, because uh, it would just send him back to 2023. <laughs> and yeah, Cabrera uh, uh, is probably going to lose the seat if he, if he tends to get his 2023 form back. Um, yeah, that's it for qualifying Grand Prix. The victory is pretty much the same for us as well. If you're gonna bat against Max in the race, you're just a foolish, foolish little person, human, whatever. I don't think anyone on earth thinks that Max is not gonna win this race. Like, even the most delusional fans lost their hope, and it's just Max winning by 20 seconds minimum this race. That's uh. I, I I would almost bet on that. Uh, we said I cannot, but <laughs> yeah, uh, Max winning this race, that's a given. Press for P2 for, um, for Ajax, which is fair. Um, it pretty much has a like, very similar order to Bahrain in this case. My P2 is Perez as well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't have him in, uh, in my top 5 in qualifying, but I have my P2 in the race. That's because I think the Red Bull is going to be extremely quick in the race pace, especially. And Perez is just going to climb through the field, like it in Bahrain, just from a lower position and get that P2 uh, some some way, essentially. And P3 for EJX is the same as in qualifying, Charles Leclerc. And mine is the same as well, Charles Leclerc in P3. Uh, he's going to get his first podium in 2023. Um, you know, that's pretty much it for this race. It's going to be another boring race. Just I, I just hope is that there are more battles throughout the field uh, to make it better than Bahrain, because Bahrain was just awful. Um, yeah, P4 or Ajax is the same as qualifying. I realize it's the same positions as in qualifying. P4 for Carl Sainz. For Ajax, my P4 is Lando Norris. I expect McLaren to be at Battle Ferrari in in, uh, in the race. And hopefully there are some nice battles, nice overtakes, and actual excitement. Even though we don't get any excitement for, for the lead of the race itself. Um, P5 for Ajax is Russell as well. I mean, it's a fair, very fair point, because Russell was faster than Hamilton in 2022 and in 2023 as well. He beat Hamilton both times they both raced in Saudi Arabia, so it, it's logical to expect Russell to beat Hamilton here as well. I just don't think uh, the Mercedes is going to be particularly quick on this track. In my opinion, barring student and better, and it looks like it's going to be even even warmer in this race, so perhaps more heat, more cooling issues for Mercedes, and I, I just don't have belief in them to be any better than last weekend. And I don't think there are going to be any heroics in in qualifying, especially. I'm going to put Carl Sainz in P5. Crash uh, going safe as last weekend. I think he's going to have a good race, just be beaten by, by Charles and Lando in this case as well. As well as Perez, obviously. Um, so it is my Grand Prix predictions uh, for the for the fastest lap. Uh, looks like we both have Max. So let's get that out of the way. Mm, just make the borders back. Okay, those are tiny. One sec. Uh, okay, that's better. Uh, Max for the fastest lap, no question there. Just going to get the fastest lap one way or another. Least impressive team. This is where we differ with Ajax, finally. Uh, Ajax has Racing Bulls, or as I have here, Tor Russo as a least impressive team. Um, I was I was thinking about which team to pick, and yeah, I couldn't I couldn't think of any particular team. Um, but I'm 
gonna go. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna pick Alpine because we kind of expect them to, to be slowest after Bahrain. Um, hmm, this is difficult. So I, I would normally pick the the team that was slow in, in sector two on Bahrain, but I actually don't remember the sector time, so I would have to pretty much guess blindly. I'm gonna pick Sauber for this one. Uh, to be different from Ajax, so actually he can he can gain ports over me if 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 the uh, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna call it Toro Rosso for this one. Toro Rosso team uh, has a has a clanger race essentially. Uh, least impressive team, no least impressive driver. Sorry, <laughs> least impressive driver. He has Hamilton. Wow, Ajax is a huge Hamilton fan. I'm, I'm first pretty surprised he has. Hamilton to be the least impressive driver for this weekend, which would make him the least impressive driver two weekends in a row. Uh, I mean, it, it could happen. In 2022, uh, Hamilton got out in Q1, I think, and 2023, he got beaten by Russell as well. So you could say that's uh, less logical thinking there. I don't think Hamilton is going to have a bad weekend. Uh, I think he's going to be close to Russell. Uh, but the least impressive driver. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick someone that I normally would expect it to be higher up, but I feel like they're gonna struggle. And I'm gonna pick Albon or least impressive driver. I'm gonna do kind of a reverse jinx because Albon got a podium in my simulation in Saudi Arabia. He got the P2. Well, make sure to watch that if you haven't already. That was the, that was a crazy one. And if I put in a least impressive driver here, maybe I kind of reverse jinx it into actually happening because that would be amazing to have Albon in one of the podium in Saudi Arabia. It's just a funny little thing that I did. And I don't think there's much logical, logical reasoning behind it. I think Williams is going to struggle in this, in this, in this circuit. And uh, Albon, I mean, yeah. Most impressive team. For, for uh, Ajax, it's Sauber actually, which is interesting. Uh, I think for the least impressive thing, but but for the most impressive, um, I was thinking about putting McLaren here, but I actually don't know. I, I probably should pick McLaren because based on last weekend, I think gonna they're gonna improve uh, over last weekend, and that probably could make them the most impressive team. Maybe I could pick pick Haas to finally be the most impressive team because they kind of still fall into the category of. Being more impressive than, ex than we expect. I don't know. I'm going to pick McLaren because I think they're going to do well on this track. Uh, most impressive driver. Wow. AJ said last stroll. Uh, this one I wouldn't pick myself. So, wow. AJ went bold. I had most impressive driver stroll. Uh, last year, E2023 was. Oh, there was a DNF from stroll. He had a mechanical failure, I think. Uh, so, it was unfortunately from stroll. He was having a good race. With that amazing overtake on Carl Sainz in like lap one. I still remember that. Stroll had a good race in Saudi Arabia, unfortunately. Uh, his engine couldn't keep up with that speed. He some, sometimes has. Uh, Stroll is like not a bad driver. He's just very, very inconsistent. Uh, my most impressive driver. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I picked Land to be over Piastro here, but if I want to go like Rather, all the possibilities. If I pick Piastri here and he beats Norris, it's a point for me. But if Norris actually beats Piastri and it's like this, then it's a point for me as well. So I'm going to play both sides. I'm going to pick Piastri for. I'm going to remove the thingy. Uh, I'm going to pick Piastri for the most impressive driver, which is weird to say based on our predictions, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna believe it. I'm going to trust it. And uh, yeah. Uh, Ajax's bullet prediction is two safety cars. That's interesting because last year I think we only had one, and that was from Stroll, I think. And the the race before that we had like two safety cars or even a red flag. I don't remember that clearly. And 2021, obviously, we had like a f like uh, I don't want to exa exaggerate, but we had like so many uh, red flags on safety cars out of race. It was a very, very memorable race to explain on Saudi Arabia for many, many reasons. And yeah, um, my extra bold prediction 
Yeah, I'm not gonna go for no DNFs again because that was uh, extremely lucky. To be fair, uh, I'm actually what? Uh, hmm. What did I pick? This is interesting. What did I pick? Um. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe Ajax doesn't allow this when he sees this. Uh, next week, hopefully, we can do the reaction together. Uh, if if he sees this. Uh, and it doesn't allow this, I know. Uh, I'm gonna go against my own prediction, just like I did with McLaren. I'm, I, I will have uh, only one Red Bull on the podium. This is actually counting on either Max or Perez not being on the podium. Obviously, Max is, is, on, is gonna be on the podium uh, either way. So this is basically just saying that Perez is not finishing on the podium which in my opinion is is pretty bold because based on what we've seen in bahrain uh, yeah perez was finishing on the podium any day of the week uh and in saudi arabia he won there last year uh saying that only run run red bull finishes on, the, finishes on the podium while being the fastest car by far in the race trim i think that's that's bold enough i'm gonna i'm gonna pick with i'm gonna pick this hopefully uh, well, th those predictions that I did comes true. Basically, just very, very conservative. I'm trying to play all sides so I could, they always come out on top. <laughs> Imagine if, if like all of this is incorrect, like I get no points. Like funny. Anyways, uh, that's it for the predictions for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you what you want to see from us going forward. And yeah, hopefully we're gonna have a better weekend then Bahrain a more exciting race and more exciting Grand Prix overall so yeah uh see you in the next one bye